Now that your infant or toddler has been diagnosed with a food allergy, you'll want to get comfortable recognizing the signs and symptoms of a potential allergic reaction, and you'll also want to get comfortable knowing which allergic reactions might be severe, might be anaphylaxis. Your healthcare provider should give you a prescription for epinephrine, an epinephrine auto-injector, and along with that, a really important document called an emergency care plan, an emergency anaphylaxis action plan. Um, this helps you identify which signs and symptoms are present that will necessitate, that'll need that epinephrine to treat your baby quickly. Allergic reactions can vary from person to person, and even in the same person, they can be different from one reaction to the next. And so getting comfortable with those action plans is gonna be important. Some of the symptoms that we can see are gonna be of the skin. We can see swelling, we can see hives, we can see itching, we can see eczema flare immediately. We might see things of the respiratory system. We might see coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath. The little ones might retract and pull the spaces in between their ribs or belly breathe or breathe with their noses, uh, nasal flaring. Uh, we might see vomiting, diarrhea. We might also see changes in activity and level of behavior. Some of these kids can get immediately lethargic and really tired and have a hard time holding up their head. Uh, we also could see um, them get irritable and cranky and not be able to play or interact appropriately. We also could see changes in their color. They could turn blue, they could turn gray. They also can get mottled in appearance. We might see them putting an object in their mouth, scratching at their tongue, pulling at their tongue, or even licking objects like licking a chair. Being able to recognize the multiple symptoms that a child can have is going to help tell you when and how you want to treat.